Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I have an article that shows a new Silk Road between, uh, let's say, um, Russia, India, Iran, something like that. A combination of those exits for uh, Russia. So let's see what this article is talking about. This article comes from uh, Quartz, India. And it's from today, July 8, 2022. The new corridor for India-Russia trade via or via Iran is almost ready. So I see Russia is very much uh, isolated. So India's trade with Russia is about to get considerably cheaper and quicker with, with Iran set to become a key hub of new transport corridor. On July 5, in a series of high-level talks, India urged Iran to activate the 7,200-kilometer International North-South Transportation Corridor, INSTC. INSTC is a multimodal transportation network of sea, road and rail routes between Russia and India, two countries that notched up bilateral trade of up to $13 billion, about 1 lakh crore rupee. I don't know what it is, but I know it's the rupee is the probably a, a, um, an amount or whatever measure of uh, uh, currency in India at the end of 2021. So the bilateral trade of up to $13 billion at the end of 2022. All right, following the breaking out of the Ukraine war, this trade doubled down on oil and other commodities. Dozen odd Central Asian countries like Armenia, Azerbaijan, and Georgia, besides Southern Russia too, will benefit from trade through INSTC. Now, um, it says, uh, dry runs have shown transit time failing by up to 20 days from the earlier 40 to 45 on this route, bringing down carriage costs by 30%. Wow. Interesting, inter interestingly, all 18 odd countries touched by the INSTC route have never been active backers of unilateral sanctions announced periodically by the West. The Tribune reported, of late trade links within the region have been disputed, disrupted due to Western sanctions on Russia and Iran. Russia has begun transporting full container trains to India through the eastern branch of the INSTS. TC, I'm sorry. In the long run, the INSTC could be an alternative to traditional routes such as Suez Canal, the Mediterranean, and the Bosphorus. India, meantime, has requested for Iran's Chabahar port. India played a role in building this facility to be brought under INSTC. This will provide sea access of Afghanistan and emerge as a commercial transit hub for the region. Besides, India's relations with Iran are crucial given the dependence on Iranian crude oil, despite the U.S. sanctions leaving things in disarray. Even geographically, Iran holds importance as it provides an alternate route to Afghanistan and Central Asia, avoiding Pakistan. So, let me see. We got... I'm going back to the main thing. Uh, yeah, we can talk about this route, but if... If this route is not with countries that are sympathetic to Russia, they will be blocked. So they must be. We got Iran applied for BRICS, remember membership? Uh, and we got India, who's in between. India did not condemn Russia or place sanctions on Russia. And it's a, a, a BRICS country, one of the five, right? So um, maybe this, uh, the whole thing uh, that's happening right here, they're obviously trying to bypass the Suez the Suez uh, channel, but the Suez channel, you know, 
if you don't have ports, I mean, you go through a black, let's say, uh, Russia, Crimea, Black Sea, goes through uh, Bosphorus, Dardanelles, whatever, Bosphorus, and it goes through Bosphorus, Dardanelles is too small. Bo Bosphorus, I think, <laughs> goes to um, Mediterranean Sea, goes to, uh, I don't know, the Suez Canal, if they're allowed, that's the problem. And then goes over there, then goes to the Indian Ocean and so on. So there's that route versus this route, which seems to be uh, saving some uh, money and time. Time, And since uh, a lot of countries will need uh, to uh, get energy from Russia, that would be a good route. And maybe it's a new uh, Silk Road, if you know what I mean, a mo modern one. We'll see how the, um, how the Americans will be able to, uh, you know, uh, destroy this because uh, uh, they are uh, builders of dissent <laughs> and uh, anyway so that that's the news with this and i think it's a good thing for all the countries involved cooperation thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just